Trophy! The bottom of me. Oh shit in hell. Ah. Oh. Ha ha ha. Ouch. Oh shit, no, they're not gonna show it. Oh, they're not gonna show it. Oh, look, yeah, the Kong. Please, no. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Oh no 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 shit. Oh they're gonna show it. Oh Oh Tenth of June, nineteen forty four. Operation successful. Patient tranquil and collaborative. Motor coordination capacity reduced, but she's improving. Transfer to the tranquil department in the care of Dr. B. 25th of October. She continues to talk about Amara and her doll, Charlotte. The disturbances of motor capacity show slight signs of improvement. Difficulty walking. Not capable of riding and the nurses report that they have to help her dress, wash, and feed herself. In the summer of 1944, Renee was transferred back into my department. It was alright, but... Aware of little... It was alright, but... Different, Simba. ...hardly ever spoke. One day, she said, When I find the courage to look at myself in the mirror, I see a young face which is aged looks at me full of fear. She is a woman now who has changed profoundly compared to the girl that I had under my care several years ago. Not surprised we were doing a fucking lobotomy on her. The sadness of her gaze and her intelligence are unchanged. 
She's so young, just 23 years old, but is lacking all vitality. Perhaps her condition may improve, but probably not. Her life has been thrown away. Because of you. And nobody did a thing to try to avoid this. Or is this the... I don't know. I'm not surprised having a sharp too and fucking shoved in your eyelid, then tapped with your hand and then the fucking Jesus Christ. This kind of thing actually happened. Because this was based on things that happened in a, in a Tuscan mental asylum. Shit hell. Shit. That probably had to be one of the most uncomfortable things I've seen in a game. It says here, inspired by true events and real places, play through the eyes of Renee. 16 year old girl who suffers from the symptoms of mental illness, she's searching for answers to the many questions from the past while exploring the place where she spent most of her youth. Uh, though the characters in this game are fictional, the asylum you visit is based on a real psychiatric hospital in Tuscany called Volterra. Its doors were shut in 1978 because it practices were declared too cruel. The one thing I really appreciate again right away is its historical accuracy. You know. Well, it did say at the start, and I did say at the start, this is going to be a sensitive subject. And it bloody was. That made me... Hmm... Book clench. <laughs> 